Let's uh, start our conversation by uh, talking a bit about uh, Hyderabad, which uh, some people have nicknamed Cyberabad because of the, your success in attracting um, investments uh, there, especially in the technology um, field. Perhaps could, could you share with us the, the key aspect of your strategy in, in invest, uh, attracting such investments? No, at that time, Andhra Pradesh was not developed. No employment, so many problems. Even finances, we had a deficit finance. To meet regular expenditure also, we had a problem. So I thought, how to develop, how to create best economy. Then so many brainstorming sessions. Mm -hmm. Then finally I decided information technology is one we can take up. Right. Then I started one uh, icon building that is uh, iTech City. Then I started so many companies. I went to America. I spent nearly 14 days. I visited all corporate heads. Mm -hmm. I requested them to come. Deliberately, I met Microsoft. I made friendship with him. Then ultimately, I requested him to come to Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. By seeing my vision, he has come. Like that, everything I have done over a period of time, world-class infrastructure, IT companies, if you create one IT job, indirect employment will be 5-6. Mm -hmm. It may be hotel, it may be transport, it may be residential, commercial, all these things. So we have done that. Bill Clinton came to Hyderabad mm -hmm. on his own. Then I, he witnessed everything. Then uh, at that time I decided to improve further business. I named that area as Cyberabad. We had two cities, Sikindrabad and Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. Then I added one more city, Cyberabad. It is a tri-city now. Right. Will, will you um, apply some of these uh, strategies to Andhra Pradesh in the future? Always, you cannot replicate by taking that experience how to move forward. Mm -hmm. Today, at that time, software is uh, not that uh, matured. Over a period of time, software has uh, become a reality. Right. Now, in India, we are having a problem with hardware and electronics. Mm. We are importing huge quantities now. I am planning. I am creating excellent ecosystem in hardware. Already some companies have come. Right. I wanted to make Andhra Pradesh as a hub for hardware and also electronics. That is what I am doing now. We are having another thing. This is the strategic location. Around 1,000 kilometers sea coast. On east coast in India, this is only the state where we are having abundant opportunities. This time I visualized, my vision is port-based industries. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make Andhra Pradesh is a logistics hub. Right. If you see Singapore, one port, then they built airport, then they built city, it has become a very, very dynamic city. Right, and then you connect everything up. Everything, backward and forward integration. And what, one of the big ideas in, in this uh, area is, of course, the, the smart cities uh, uh, plan. Can you talk a bit about that? What, what, are, you, what are you hoping to achieve? In no, now, India is moving towards smart cities. Mm -hmm. Our Honorable Prime Minister has announced 100 uh, smart cities now. They are giving some incentives, and at the same time, they are rating continuously. This city stands, this place. Then naturally, there will be competition among people, mm -hmm. among states, among local bodies. That is happening today. Every city should be a smart city, and also a livable city. That is where one city is a smart city and livable city. Employment will take place, vibrant economy will come, sustainability will be there mm. and also people will enjoy the life. So we are working in that direction. Ultimately, urbanization is a reality. Mm. And at the same time, how to provide better amenities, better infrastructure facilities for urban people. That will give smart uh, cities. Uh, you've had a very extensive uh, political experience. 
Uh, how are you uh, applying that to to make sure that there is uh, buy-in and support from from the people, in, including the people in, in the rural areas, who have to make this shift to the, the urbanized uh, future of Andhra Pradesh? If you see here, human psychology is same all over the world. Mm. Even it may be Singapore, it may be America, it may be China, it may be anywhere. Mm -hmm. But how we are going to inspire them and also how to motivate them for better things. If you do good things, they will automatically follow you. And at the same time, there is a short term, medium term, long term planning we have to do it. In Singapore, only one government for the last 50 years, people are supporting. Reason is, this government is delivering people are supporting this government. Mm. There is a mutual benefit. We, this government is getting an opportunity to serve the people. Right. People are getting benefits out of it. Mm. In India also same thing. Last time I was ahead of times. There was some miscalculation, so I lost. Now I am balancing everything. How to go urbanization and at the same time how to develop villages also remote villages, both I am balancing now. And also I want to keep always people happy. How, that how, how are you going to do that? By giving welfare programs, oh. by creating wealth first, mm. then poor people we have to give welfare. Right. Slowly, even in welfare, even sustainable welfare we have to give it to them. Mm. Ultimately, inclusive growth is my concept. Mm. I am bringing that inclusive growth while giving temporarily welfare programs. Ultimately, everybody should be above poverty and also there must be inclusive growth. That is where I am working. My idea is by getting best practices all over the world, I want to make Andhra Pradesh a livable state.